Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create a login page in Zuhu Creator for beginners in 2024. Of course, this is a straightforward process that allows you to add user authentication to your application. And this tutorial will guide you step by step to create a functional and visually appealing login page using Zuhu Creator tool. So follow along as we build a simple yet effective login page. So make sure to stick by, let's dive right into this video and simply let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you'll need to go and open a browser. Here I'm using Brave for you, you can use whatever you want. Once you open it, go to the URL section. So as a beginner, first of all, you'll need ChatGPT with you all the way up. So just type chat.openai, oh, sorry. So openai.com and hit the enter button. Open new tab and make sure to go to Zuhu, uh, like creator. So I'll just go and type Zuhu creator instead of Zuhu.com. So I'll be taken to that exact like thing. Just Zuhu.com slash creator. Of course, make sure to go and log in into both your ChatGPT or create an account. If you don't have an account, why? So you can have your former uh, chats so you can get back to it whenever you want. And same will be for Zuhu creator. Make sure to go and sign up and create your account if you don't have one. If you have one, just go and sign in into it. So as an example here, I'll just go and sign up with using Google. I'll use this account, as you can see, by continuing Google will share your name, uh, email address, language preferences, and etc. So then I'll click on continue here. And once I do so, as an example, so let me just wait a bit. As you can see, so welcome. Uh, as you can see, we're thrilled to have you on board. In the next 30 seconds, you'll create your first app, as an example. So let's go. What you, would you like to create today? So portal example, which is allowing external users like customers or vendors to access relevant data with a personalized login, which is what I want. As an example, who are you creating this portal for? As an example, so I'll just do maybe uh, students or I don't know, maybe customers or something like that. What's your current solution for this? Like, uh, I don't know, maybe I'll just do manual. Uh, what this describe you? So I'll just do other here. And name it, I'll just name it like login page. And it's like this. Pick a theme color, just let's as it is, choose data source, simple data as example, then click on create app. And meanwhile, I'll just go to ChatGPT. I'll type how to create a login page in Zuhu Creator. As simple as that. As I said, if you're a beginner, make sure to use ChatGPT all the way. As you can see, they'll take you through all the steps, like step by step, as you can see. You all need to do is just follow this step by step and you'll be good to go without any problems. So as an example here, I'll just wait for this. So as you can see, you can grasp your main dates, uh, presenting your first app with sprinkled some uh, sample data. So you can start playing around right away. And now it's time to edit and explore the power of your creation. I'll just click on let's go. And as you can see, I'll be right away here. So here, of course, first of all, you'll be to preview and the desktop and the tablet and even in the phone. Preview everything out. For me, I still did not create anything. So if I go here, you can add orders. You can do some a lot of the stuff. For example, your question answers. Example, wonder if Zoe Creators drive platform for your business. Yeah, I don't need. Uh, I don't need that. So as example, if you go and click on edit this application here, let me just show you. So as an example here, we'll have to start by the design, and I'll click on open page builder. So this is going to be basically welcome to your custom uh, or your customer portal. As an example, of course, you'll be able to delete things. So for me, I'll just go and delete basically like kind of everything. Because I don't need a lot of those stuff. As an example here, I don't need all of that. All I need to do is have a login page. To do so, as an example, you can first of all look for forms. You can simply just go and application, yeah, form, yeah, like that, and simply embed something like that, of course, and make sure to, you can even change form, like example, whatever you want, and you can do it like a custom order form, redirect it to, as example, to a form, to a page, to a website URL, whatever you want, once people like a reset button, as example, a success message, submit button text, and etc. You can even allow a public access and etc. Once you finish all of those, just click on OK and you'll be all good to go. Of course, make sure to even add the button, etc. I'm just showing you, or as example, 
I'm just trying to show you how it's gonna look like as example so here uh, I don't know what should you add like other than that so it's gonna be basically a form you should be able to enter your username password and then a button where you should click on uh, like a uh, login so as example I'll just delete that I'm just I was showing you so let's just go here back to ChatGPT. so once we create a form as an example we will have to go and add a form as we said so we can start by uh, creating some order form or whatever you want so as example add a new form as we said then click on create form starts with blank and click on create then of course name your form login form or a similar name then add fields for email and password all i need to do as example to do that so here as example so you can go here of course as we said to change the form so application yeah for that form yeah it's going to be this or I'll just go here and click on cancel as example so let me just wait and look for some custom order form what about that so yeah here for display as example or the style so you can simply or action example so here uh, it's gonna open like a url if you click on it or yeah why not open url example you'll have to enter the url here open the same window as example so i'll just do here maybe it's the same window course display like uh, this is gonna be like just type here login so once people click on it they'll be taken to a, to a url of course or something like that so this is like a random i just seems like i just added a button i don't want to add a button uh, i want to add like a, an actual form basically here as example i'll just go and click on add plus of course to add the form so here i'll just click on that then of course from scratch uh, name form of course login uh, like page so create a form as an example so here of course we'll uh, add the email where people should add their email so the field name uh, i don't know I'll just let this email and of course i'll add like another thing so let me just add another one but instead of this one it's going to be like so as word for this one example and other than that i'll need to add a button which is going to be so let me just look for the button and maybe i'm missing this out it should be like right here so checkbox image etc uh, things in here users integrations and where is the button maybe i, I did miss it so let me just wait and look for it of course instead like of an email you can add if you want to as an example uh, 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 if instead of email like a name or you can make it a username depending on whatever you want to add on your form so that's up to you basically of course here should not, i don't know why i did that added this of course uh, you can make it mandatory of course you will have to make both of those mandatory and sorry i don't want to add this I just try to show you like this one so yeah once it's added i'll be able to delete it seems so yeah i'll just click in here to delete it so as i said once you do so normally it should be like oh i'll just go here and add this link as example let's say this url of course i'll just name it like login field name yeah mandatory uh, people will click on it eventually and of course all i need to do is enter the link where people should be taken once they log in into their account and as i said of course for more customization you can simply follow this step-by-step -step guide here on chat and you'll be good to go so that's gonna be it for me today thank you for watching and goodbye